This is so hip. Oh my god, it's so hip. Well, it makes you look like shit. Good morning, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. Got a little bit of minor pain. My fucking little guy. All hypochondriac and shit. Nothing's going on, little Dayton. Your, your health is absolutely just fine. So, we're going to go back into the mall today. I should probably drop off some of the shit that I already got. Duh. Duh. Let's put this fucking giant pile of nails. That'll be quite nice. Uh, axe, net trap, mystery seeds. Hmm, what else? Smoke bomb, I might see myself needing that. But all this other crap, mm, not so much wire twine, wood glue. That'll uh, offload me pretty nicely. So we got a big pile of stuff in the bank that we can uh, come back to at some point, should we need it. We've got a nice shiny new aluminum bat. I should probably keep an eye out for uh, some sort of weapon or whatnot because uh, I'm not going to uh, have so much besides uh, the axes that are in the hardware store. So if I could find a baseball bat, that would be extremely, extremely more preferable to uh, breaking all those axes and shit. Especially because my my blade accuracy is not that high. My blunt accuracy is way, way better. So let's uh, see if we can find the door. One more again. And this is the, uh, the same door that we keep going in. And it keeps having zombies every day. So I think the spawn rate near the mall is definitely higher. It's probably a good idea that I didn't decide to set up here, uh, at least near the beginning. Hmm, I love finding these weapons and shit. I wish I had uh, a little more balls to use them. But I definitely don't want to drag any more zombies near this door. i get rid of this guy because uh, if I'm trying to make a quick exit, he might impede me just a little bit. Oh god. Jesus Christ. Where do they keep coming from? You guys. Probably need to find a safer entry point. This is not seeming like the way to go. And you, get down. He's gonna make a big pile of corpses out here. Oh god, fuck. Jesus Christ. Hmm. Where'd you go? Don't walk away from me, old man. Blit! Blit! Lay down! That's right. What's my name? Dayton does. Who I do? Dayton. Why is that? Because I touch myself at night. Alright. Here we go. Probably uh, would be a good idea to clean out some of these side rooms. Maybe that is why they keep, uh, keep filling back up in this fucking hallway every single night. Ugh. I think I got this one already, at least relatively well. Gotta check and make sure there's nobody in the front counter, huh? Nope, nope, nope. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Jar with lid? Hmm. If I uh, ever figure out some things I can preserve. I was trying to preserve those strawberries so, so many episodes ago, and then I realized that uh, you can't preserve strawberries. Most of what you can preserve is like vegetables and things like that. So I've grown some zucchines, and uh, that might come in handy at some point if we ever make it back to base. If I get bit, I'm just going to go back to base and uh, gorge myself on zucchinis until I die. <laughs> the zucchinis are going to get me before the zombies do. I'll tell you that much right now. Hunting knife, crowbar, there's a little bit of beef jerky. Yeah, that's good, right? Mm. Oh. And the refrigerators are still running from what I can hear. That's quite a nice thing. Hmm. I don't really need any more of this hardware stuff. I've got uh, basically all I could want, I do believe. Shit ton of nails at least. Lots of fishing trap and twine and wood glue. And then there's like duct tape and shit like that, but that's uh, only really good if your carpentry's not good enough to use the wood glue. Once you know how to use wood glue, it's like, what the fuck? What's what's the point of uh, anything else? Wood glue's the best! The best! Hmm. Box of MREs. Ooh. Yes, please. 
definitely will need at some point if I live long enough. <laughs> but uh, I didn't think I'd live this long, so you never really know. It's always a mystery with Project Zomboid. And I don't want to go through that door because I'm sure it's uh, absolutely infested. Look at all these keys. I think so many keys. Jesus Christ. How'd you guys get in there? Now you can't get back out? You guys are dumb. You guys are dumb, dumb, dumb. How about this uh, electronic store? Is this infested with zombies? Doesn't seem too bad. Seems a bit like a Radio Shack. In the fact that there's nobody in there. Oh, oh fuck! Burn! Burn! Radio Shack, you just got fucking dragged. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Nothing. Nothing! Although I do thank them for, uh... Wow, home alarm. I should keep those. This is like a Radio Shack. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do thank Radio Shack for giving me my, my first ever job. That was quite nice of them. I was 18, and they're like, You wanna make some money? You can make some money here. You just gotta sell a bunch of cell phones. And I'm like, aren't you guys for like resistors and capacitors and stuff? And they're like, not anymore! Cell phones! And I'm like, why wouldn't they just go to the AT&T store? Or, you know, Sprint store. God damn. There's a bunch of zombies banging on that door. Ooh, aluminum bat. Do need. That'll uh, keep us for probably another day or so. I'm so scared of that door, I'm just not gonna bother. <laughs> Uh, I am satisfied uh, finding that home alarm, however. I would really like to find some more things of that nature. Work on my uh, electronic skill, as it were. Mm, yes, more home alarms. Quite good. Digital watch. Mm, electronics magazine. Make timer, add timer. Wow. That seems like a useful thing. Let me just take a second to peruse this. Yes. And now I understand everything much more. Muchly more! And uh, these home alarms aren't too light. I guess I'm just gonna keep taking these. Seems like a good idea. Craft remote trigger. Already read that one. Hmm. Where is that connected to? Oh, I thought that was a door. <laughs> I don't want to go through any doors. It's not gonna be good. Combination padlock. Used to lock containers. Items and equipment can be stored securely. Oh! What the fuck? There's so much good stuff here! Who'd have thunk it? Wow. The magic of the electronic store. Cordless phone. <laughs> I don't think so. Combination padlock, that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm gonna like that a lot. That's gonna come in pretty handy, I do think. Thank you, Radio Shack. You've been a big help. Should I say Radio Shack? They're not a sponsor, just in case anybody was wondering. Not a sponsor. Uh, they don't hardly exist anymore, so they can't be a sponsor. Oh, it seems there's a bunch of zombies just wandering the food court. I'll clean this shit up. Go home, you pesky teens! What, you think just because you buy a Sbarro's pizza you can hang out here all day? Get the fuck out of here! Don't your parents wonder where you are? No, they don't. Just like, good. He's gone. Where'd he go? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. It doesn't matter to me, as long as he's not in my house. He's only got three years left to live here, and then we're kicking him out on the street. As it should be, right? I do think. Hmm. There are a lot of zombies banging on this door. This would probably be the safer way to come in, uh, because it's all visible and shit. You can see what's going on here. Um, God damn. There are just so many of these things. Oh, how can you possibly keep it clear? You can't. I think that's the point. Zombies will just keep coming and coming. But, like, where are the survivors that are becoming these zombies? They just hide when they see the Dayton does come down the street? They're like, oh no. It's that fucking guy. He's bald and he has a beard. That that's that's my criteria for hiding from someone. <laughs> if you're bald and you've got a beard, I'm gonna hide from you. <laughs> what the fuck? Somebody just come be my friend, okay? We need some NPCs. 
There are a lot in this corner. I don't know how so many ended up in this corner. Oh wow, those fucking gates do break. So that's not good. Okay, back away. Just a little. Everybody down. Everybody down. Oh god. He's a crawler. He's a crawler now. Or did he just, just die on his stomach? I don't know. I'm scared to find out. Um, I guess he's dead. I guess he's dead. I'm not really sure. I'm not so convinced. God damn. Okay, so that uh, window on the far right is broken. That's fine. I can use that as an entry point. Should I need to. Get down! Get the fuck down! Oh my god. Alright. And then that chick is also banging on the window, so I'm going to, uh, dispatch her with extreme prejudice! Zombie prejudice! And then they're like, don't be a racist, dude. Zombies uh, are people too, or something. And I'm like, what do you think this is, World of Warcraft? Like the undead's just a, a race that you're supposed to feel sorry for? No! Murder them all! That's how this game goes. <laughs> That's the whole point, is to kill them. Kill them and don't let them kill you. So you gotta kill them real hard. But they're so sneaky. Not as sneaky as they could be, I suppose. Because usually when they get close to you, they're like, Oh, oh I'm so hungry, bro. Let's go to Sabaros. <laughs> You only do that because that's what you did in life. Sabaros ain't even that good. I'm lying. Yes, it is. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> I miss it a lot. Since I've been in the Philippines, I haven't had, like, uh, really proper pizza or burgers. They do pizza and burgers over here, but it's just a little different, you know? Like how if you go to Mexico and you get, uh, whatever, basically any Mexican food, it's like... Compare it to uh, Taco Bell. It's not the fucking same. It's just not. Everybody knows that. Well, the burgers and pizza here, it's like Taco Bell burgers and pizza. If that makes any sense. I know they don't serve burgers and pizza. But if they did, it would probably be awful. I think there's zombies in here that have just have not loaded. Am I correct in that assumption? You guys wanna... You guys wanna take a... Take a risk? Oh god. I don't like it. Candles, digital watch, belts. There's nothing in here for me anyways. Could use a bath towel if I get a little wet. But uh, I don't plan on getting wet. I don't even smoke PCP. <laughs> Drug reference! We've been talking about drugs a lot in the past couple episodes. What goes on in my brain that I just get on these fucking tangents? Can't seem to pull myself off of it. Oh, now they're breaking into the toy store. Bro! Nobody even likes Monopoly, okay? Nobody plays that shit no more. Unless uh, it's on a phone or something like that. You play E-Monopoly and whoever has the most money is the one who wins. Which is basically how real Monopoly goes too. <laughs> you can get an extra roll if you uh, participate in a microtransaction. 99 cents for an extra roll and then you just go around the whole board and buy everything. Because you're like, ah. Oh, I spent 20 bucks to win this game. That doesn't mean anything. Uh, those fucking phone games are just so weird. Freemium gaming is uh, one of the strangest phenomenons of our time, I do think. And it fucking works. It works because it uh, it hooks into the, uh, the instinct, the animal part of the brain, you know? And uh, takes advantage of things that probably shouldn't be taken advantage of. At least for a profit. But it's not illegal yet. You're just like, oh, you don't want it, don't buy it. But some people just can't help themselves. I lost my grandmother to Candy Crush. <laughs> That's not true. But my grandma did spend a bunch of money in Candy Crush, and my grandpa's like, what the fuck? They get you. It's just like five bucks at a time. Oh, you want to keep going? It's only five bucks. Wow. Well, I've only done this like five times this month. Well, dude, that's 25 bucks, isn't it? Isn't it? And I bet, uh, yeah, it's way more than just five times. You're doing it like five times a week, something like that. And you spend hundreds. Oh, God. Are you dead? Jesus Christ. 
He almost got me. Did you see him? He almost got me. This is like a medical clinic, so there's a lot of zombies in here. But I ain't scared. I never scared. Dayton does is gonna kill some zombs. That's right. And he did. Beta blockers, latex gloves, bone saw. What the fuck? I can amputate my own legs? That's awesome. <laughs> then I can crawl around like a zombie too! They should make that a feature. I would definitely do a legless playthrough. <laughs> An amputee playthrough. Oh my god, that would be the best thing ever. I don't know why that's not a thing yet. Indie Stone, get on it. Thanks so much. Hmm. Doctor's bag, tongue depressor. There's not a whole lot of stuff in here that I would deem necessary. I mean, beta blockers and vitamins and all that shit, it's kind of nice to have, but even when I have it, I don't end up taking it. Or, uh, yeah. It's just like in real life. <laughs> oh, look at all these vitamins I have and will never remember to take. Wonderful. Excellent. Fantastic. I wonder if that closed umbrella could be an open umbrella. Does it have an option for that? This is a nice waiting room. You got like a mini fridge and shit? Really, if it was like a, a, a waiting room, there would be nothing in it. Everybody would eat all the stuff in the fridge. That's why uh, you don't see fridges in waiting rooms. Hmm, microwave. Interesting. Fascinating. Anybody in here? Nope. Nope, nope. Nobody had it in the bathroom. There's some sheets. Fuck yeah. That's what I was looking for. Something to hang on the door. We're in business now. Now we're in business. Oh yeah. Oh god. Jesus. What were you guys doing? You saw me go in there, huh? Bunch of peeping toms, are you? Peeping toms and peeping Penelope's? Whatever. Whatever the female equivalent of a peeping tom is. I guess it has to start with a T, doesn't it? Peeping Tiffany? I don't know. I don't know how that goes. I don't know the logistics. I'm gonna close this up. So, uh, I know that I cleared it out. And there shouldn't be any more in there. At least, uh, not for a while. They seem to just fucking pop up everywhere in the mall. Look at this! You fucking broke down the glass, and then you're like, I'm gonna break, break some more. Broke one to come in, broke one to go out, broke one to come in, broke one to go out. They're just dumb. They're about as dumb as you can fucking get. There's another one going up the stairs. I'm gonna dispatch this bitch right now. This bitch, this bitch. This bitch, this bitch. Hey, bitch. What's your name, bitch? It's like, uh, people trying to holler at women at the mall. She's not there for you. She just wants to pick up some lacquer sweatpants or whatever the fuck. <laughs> I, I don't know what she's there for. And honestly, I don't care, because I'm just here for Sabaros. <laughs> ah, it's what you call a callback joke. See, I waited so long, and then I'm like, ah, here's that thing that you forgot about almost. God. There's so many in here. This looks like a, a food store. A grocery store. Don't you want some groceries? Everybody down. Get the fuck down. Down! I said down! Yeah. I should probably clear these guys out just in case I need to make a hasty retreat. Guys and girls, let's be a, a bit more egalitarian here, Dayton. We are smashing the skulls of both men and women. And children. But they, they don't have children yet. If they do put children in this game, I think it's going to be one of those like, Oh my god! OMG, you're killing kids in the game! It's like, yeah, but... But they're zombies. <laughs> they're zombie kids. If zombie kids come around, are you just gonna be like, I guess you can bite me because you're a child? No. You end them. You dispatch them with extreme prejudice, just like you would any other undead creature of the night. 
this. Working my way around. That's so good. I see you coming. Think I forgot about you? I didn't. Work my way around the outside. Hello. Nice to meet you. Now you're dead. How about you? Are you, are you pleased to see me? Everybody seems pleased to see me around here. Yeah. Oh. All you need is a little blunt accuracy, and the, the mall is such a fucking easy place. I say as uh, the lights are all on and shit. <laughs> it's probably not that easy. Oh, this is like a pharmacy place. It's not foods at all. It just kind of looks like foods. It's the most colorful pharmacy I've ever seen. Oh, well, whatever. At least I'll finish clearing it out. Noah, if you want some doctor supplies, go to the second floor. I think we actually visited this place uh, with Playintosh when we were doing the, the co-op, collab project Zomboids. This kind of does uh, recall some memories, I do think. Oh my god. Get away. Oh Jesus. I did a bad. I did a stupid. I did a dumb. Okay, everything's fine. Down. Everybody down. Come with me if you want to live. This is more clothes and shit. But honestly, it's uh, it's leveling my blunt accuracy pretty good. So I'm not gonna complain too much. Just beat the shit out of some more zombies. Oh my god, my uh, my baseball bat's looking pretty shit. I might need to replace it. Jesus, did he get me? He didn't get me. Alright, let's uh, pull over to the side of the road for just a moment. Take stock of our situation. Equip my brand new aluminium. <laughs> aluminium baseball bat. Look at that. It's got a full star. A full star, it's ready for zombie beating action. Ugh! Fuckers! Who you think you are, fuckers? Fuckers! Oh, this is like a hip clothing store. Like an Abercrombie and Fitch. They got a bunch of uh, games and things. Oh, this is where the food is. What the fuck is anything anymore? There's pharmaceutical supplies in my grocery store. There's groceries in my clothing store. Oh, God. Well, I, I kind of want to look and see what's on the clothing racks. If it's going to be more food. I think that's interesting. We can work our way through here relatively well. The exertion is not creeping up so far. Oh god. A little bit of lag there. <laughs> Almost lost my life to lag. Lost my life to lag. Of course, Dayton. Blame the lag. That's what it is, bro. It really was the lag, you guys. Come on. Believe me. Please believe me. Hmm. Belt, blouse, purse. What is this? A combination. What the fuck? <laughs> a combination thrift and grocery store. You can buy canned goods or used belts and shirts. Wow. I'm in the market for all of those things. How convenient for me. Exertion's getting up there now. But that's okay. We've done uh we've done some work. We cleared out quite a few places in here, I tell you what. I kinda wanna play Dr. Oids. Oh god! Please no. Okay. Knock him down. Knock him down. Exertion's too high. Can't knock him down. There you go. Alright. Everybody dead. Everybody dead! Give me your key. I don't know what this key is for, but I need it. Oh, these shelves look empty, but there's apparently stuff on them. Hmm. Canned corn beef! Delicious! It has no carbohydrates, but plenty of fats and proteins to keep my brain operational. Mmm! Oh! Dr. Oids, you're just like Dr. Mario, except, you know, crappier. I'm not gonna play pinball because that shit could be loud. I think Dr. Oids would probably be loud too. It's not a good idea to play video games in the zombie apocalypse. Oh god. Why do they keep flipping around like that? <gasps> I think Indy Stone was like, okay, he likes when they crawl. Write that down. 
Let's make fucking 20% of them just crawl. Let's try and uh, remove the broken glass here. Uh, is it removed? It doesn't look removed. I'm not gonna risk it. Not gonna climb through that shit. No, sir, not me. Find another fool for your ploy. Hey, bro, I thought I cleared this shit out. You can't be here. How many times I told you? Just once? Well, it's still true. You can't be here. <laughs> yeah. This, uh... This proves to me that the spawn rate in the mall is just exceedingly high. Have a lot of zombies coming all the time, always. Which, uh... Makes clearing it out kind of a... A moot point, you know? There's not a whole lot of point to clearing it out if uh, every time you clear it out it just fills back up again. You walk five feet away and it's like, oh, guess what? There's more zombies here now. Oh, great. Great, so I just kind of wasted my time. That's wonderful. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's alright. We got a kill zone now. Kill zone! Right on the corner! Back the fuck up, bitch! Oh my god. There we go. Twofer! Twofer! Got him, coach! Oh my god, why are they all banging on that fucking door over there? Knitting needle. Needle. See, this is where I should have gone to find that fucking needle. Man, oh man. Well, at least we're taking a pretty good inventory. Figuring out what is what in this mall. What is all this? This is just the end? Lola Limon. Is that like a Lululemon reference? Well, I'm definitely not going in there. See a bunch of fat chicks in ugly patterned pants? <laughs> this is so hip. Oh my god, it's so hip. Well, it makes you look like shit. I mean, I'm not exactly the, the fashionista, but... <laughs> in my opinion, in my humble opinion, you look like ass. Just saying. Just saying. An ugly floral pattern does nothing for you. Are you trying to look like a, a Hawaiian tourist or something like that? I don't understand why all these uh, disgusting patterns are making a comeback. Like I said, I'm not a fashionista. I don't know shit about all that. But uh, I do know what I like and what I don't like. And I don't like that Lululemon shit. <laughs> It's pretty gross to me. Oh, there's so many zombies. God damn. What is that place? Oh, that's, uh... The bath towels and all that. I did see a key in there as well, but... I'm not too keen on getting it. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Can I climb up here? Can I get some water from the fountain? It's not a water fountain. Or, it is a water fountain. But it's not a drinking fountain. And it's important that one knows the difference, you know? One's got, like, chlorinated bullshit. And if I remove the broken glass here, I thought I already did. No, I didn't. That's probably gonna look like shit, too, right? Am I correct? Yeah. I'm not climbing through that shit. That's not happening. Not today. So, let's take a little inventory of what we got. We found those sheets, which is something I was looking for. We got uh, the box of MREs, a bunch of home alarms and things like that. Combination padlocks and home alarms, which I think is going to be pretty useful at some point or another. Uh, I'll figure out what to do with those and then be able to secure my stuff. Really, there's no other players on the server that are going to come and take my stuff, but... It's just uh, nice to play with it for if I do go into a multiplayer mode or something like that. I'll be like, hey bro, check this out. I put the, the gun in, in that box and they're like, I can't open the box. And I'm like, haha, trolled, fucking noob. <laughs> I don't actually do that. I'm pretty nice in a uh, multiplayer mode. At least I was when I was, you know, newbie. I don't know. I don't know how I'd be now. I assume I'd be nice too. I'm a pretty nice guy overall, I think. I've got some political opinions, but I'm also uh, open to discourse and things like that. Some people don't agree with me, and I'm like, that's cool, bro. But, uh, you know, usually people have like a black and white 
version of the world, and they're like, what the fuck? How could you not think this way? <laughs> like, well, I think the same thing about the way you think. It's just, it's just life, dude. Let's fill up this bottle and get a little drinky drink. Hmm, so glad they got a water cooler over here. I'm not, uh, forced to drink out of toilets quite yet. But I will, if the time comes. Don't fucking put it past me. <laughs> Let's load some stuff on the floor. Box of MREs. I'll keep these MREs, though. And the nails, I guess. Gotta use those to put up sheets and shit. And that fucking dog. I swear to God I'm gonna poison it. <laughs> I'm really not. Please don't freak out on me. I really love animals. Uh, I just don't like bad owners, you know? They're like, ah, it's just a dog. Fucking, why bother training it? Well, because it's your dog. And if you don't train it, then it gets annoying as piss. Do you understand? <laughs> eh, whatever. Okay, whatever. Whatever when I poison it. <laughs> I'm not actually going to poison it. But, yeah, I am frustrated. Dogs in the Philippines only have, like, three jobs. Burglar alarm, uh, garbage disposal, and the third one, I guess, is food. <laughs> I've seen Filipinos eat a dog. They're like, oh, this dog bit that kid because it had rabies, so now we're going to eat it. It's like, do you think it's a good idea to eat an animal with rabies? That's why nobody eats squirrels, bro. Oh my god, what is the world? Anyways, <laughs> I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode, please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe. That is always appreciated. It helps the channel to get out there. I swear not all of my episodes have a, a dog barking in the background. Basically only the ones where I'm in the Philippines because um, that's just the way it seems to go. It's, it's hard to get any silence around here. <laughs> Welcome to the Philippines. Anyways, friends, I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much again for watching. Until then, friends, bye bye One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.